Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to the Millionaire Happy Podcast. In this podcast, I want to speak to you guys about peaks and valleys. You guys have probably heard of the the idea or the adage that, you know, life is about seasons, right? So some people in your life are probably going through their summer season. They're going through a really, really great part of their life where everything is going out perfectly for them. Everything is working out perfectly. You know, they have a person that loves them. They're making loads of money and they have whatever they desire, their heart desires, right? So they're in the summer season. So they're reaping the benefits of all of the stuff that they sowed in their winter season. But perhaps you are not in your summer season. Perhaps you are in your winter where... You know, it's very cold and it's hard and it's a harsh time for you. You're, you're having a hard time with everything that's going on. Maybe you don't have someone who loves you or you just broke up with someone. Um, the job that you're working at perhaps is not making you the money that you want or is, is harder than you imagined. Uh, perhaps there are some in, issues that are happening with your family or with your, your friends or you're feeling lonely. And so you're kind of going through a winter season where everything seems to be slowing down. Everything seems like it's taking a little bit more effort. And it seems like you're having to put a lot more into it than what you're getting out. Right? Just because you're going through your winter season, right? And then obviously there's fall and, and other seasons as well. But mostly people kind of focus on the two seasons of their life, which is the peaks and the valleys, the, the summers and the winters. And I really, really wanted to speak to this issue because I feel like a lot of people compare their summers with the other person's winters so they feel good about themselves and they're thinking to themselves oh i am doing so well and that person's doing so terribly i'm awesome it's all because of me i am a great person and i'm doing everything right and it's their fault that they don't have a good life right or we compare our winters to other people's summers and we think oh man i must be a terrible person i don't know what i'm doing my my life is horrible compared to this other person they're doing really well and they're having a great life they have everyone who loves them around them i have no one i must be a terrible human being or i must be lazy or whatever else you want to call yourself right we compare the wrong seasons first of all you should never be comparing yourself with someone else which is a common common mistake that everyone makes even i've done that in the past and i do that still but not only that, but you're also comparing yourself to the wrong season. So your, your season, the season that you're in, the valley that you're in, perhaps is not comparable to someone else's peak. It's the wrong comparison. If you want to compare apples to apples, then do that. But don't compare apples to orangutans, right? I mean, it's going to be a completely different thing. You're, it's not the same thing, right? The reason I wanted to do this video is because um, I know people in my own life who are kind of going through a very hard time right now, right? They have a very difficult, uh, difficult few months, difficult few years that they're going through. And there's a lot happening in their life right now that's making them feel like everything that did, they're doing, all the effort that they're putting into the things that they're doing, all their life seems very hard and nothing seems to be working out the way they've imagined it. And they're talking to me about that stuff, obviously, and I'm there for them, obviously. But more than that, I'm realizing that these people, what they're doing is that they're thinking that the peaks or the valleys are going to last forever. The mistake that these individuals who are, who are going through a hard time, are, what, they're ma- what the mistake they're making is that they're thinking that this hard time, this winter season, is going to last forever, which is obviously false. It's not going to last forever. It's going to last for a few months, a few years maybe, and then it'll end and then you'll go into another season, right? Not only that, but for these individuals who are going through a hard time, other people in their life are looking at them and basically congratulating themselves for the fact that their lives are awesome, they're living a really good life, they're in their summer, and comparing themselves to this person who's in their winter and putting them down for the fact that it's your fault you're in this situation, it's your fault that you're dealing with all this stuff, look at me, look at how amazing my life is and how everything's working out in my life, and look at you where you are. In both ways, not only the fact that this person is letting this happen to them, but also the fact that these other people are doing it to him or her, it's, it's terrible, right? And so I wanted to, as I was sitting in bed and I was thinking about what podcast I want to record today, I was thinking, this is what I want to talk about. Not only should you be careful if you are in your summer season, I'm not saying that it will end soon if you start comparing yourself or you start congratulating yourself. There is no problem with congratulating yourself. Actually, you should be proud if you're in your summer season. Obviously, you sowed a bunch of plants in the winter and you did a lot of work and now you're getting the benefit of it. You're reaping the benefit in your summer season. 
But I want everyone to be careful because you have to realize not the peaks, not, neither the peaks nor the valleys last forever. Neither summer nor winter lasts forever. That is the season of life. That's the way life works. If you look at anything in the world, everything has its own rhythm. It has its own cycle. The circadian rhythm for a human being or the seasons for the world or even the earth has its own cycle. You can notice it when uh, you see pictures of NASA t takes off the earth. You know, it, it's breathing. It's, it's moving. You know, the ice caps melt and then they, they freeze back up again. It's so interesting how there's a cycle to everything. And that same idea applies to us as well. We all go through cycles. We all go through cycles. And you have to remember that. So not only then when you are in a summer season and you're doing really well, don't congratulate, congratulate yourself too much or put yourself down or put other people down for, sorry, for having their winter season because everyone is living their own life. There is no comparison there, right? But not only that, when you are going through your winter season, remember that it is just a season. It is just a cycle. It's just a temporary phase in your life. And it's just the winter time, right? So hunker down, you know, hibernate, do whatever you need to do, do the work that's necessary so that you can gracefully and excitedly move from winter season back to summer whenever that time comes. Now, you don't know when that time's going to come. I don't know when that time's going to come. No one knows when that time's going to come. You have no idea. Everyone has their own cycle. Everyone has their own season. Sometimes it feels that certain people are living their lives in winter. Like it feels like their whole entire life is a winter season. And some people it feels like their entire life is a summer season. You don't know what the background stories are. You don't know if social media is actually telling you the true story. You don't know if the person's actually telling you the truth about their life, about how happy they are and how perfect everything is. So my main idea, my main advice with all of this is, first of all, to remember that you're going through a cycle. So it's just temporary. But not only that, stop comparison. You have no idea, again, not what other people are going through. And you have no idea, or why should you compare yourself in your own phase of life with anyone else? How does that make any sense? How does it make any sense? It's basically, as I said, like comparing apples to orangutans. It's, it is an, a, a nonsensical comparison because that person, their life, their life experiences, their genetics, their environment, a billion different things are different for that person, for anyone around you than you. Right? You are a unique human being going through a unique experience that cannot be compared to anyone else. So that's really, really important that we stop comparing. But if you're going to compare, and people do all the time, please, please stop comparing your winter season to someone else's summer. And stop putting other people down who are going through their winter just because you're going through their, your summer season. I see this happening so many times, especially, as I said, with the people that in, are in my life. And they come to me all the time and they, they pontificate on the fact that these people, these friends of theirs, friends, as I say in quotes, are putting them down or making them feel terrible because their lives are going perfectly and you know my friends lives are not going as well as they imagine it will be and they feel terrible uh, my my thing always is to cut those freaking people off because obviously they're not your friends but if that's not the idea that's not what you want to do what i want to remind i want to send this message out into the world is that if you are going through a summer season please please don't put those people down who are going through their winter don't put them down. They're going through their cycle. They're going through their life. It's normal. You know, it's something that everyone has to do. It's, it's important. Actually, a lot of learnings and gains and growth happens in the winter season because you have the time, you're hibernating, you're not doing a lot of stuff, you're learning, um, a lot of pain happens at that point, so perhaps a little bit of pleasure as well, but a lot of pain and pain creates growth. And so it's actually a great thing that you're going through this winter seasons because when summer comes, you're going to appreciate it so, more, so much more, right? When you go through the summer season, you're going to see how amazing your life is. You're going you're to be able to look back and think, wow, that was a tough time. I went through a lot. It was really difficult, but I kept my head high and I did all the things I was supposed to be doing and I, I kept on plodding along. And look at me now. Look at where I am and I am so grateful for that time and I'm so grateful that I'm here right now. Instead of either putting yourself down for being an idiot or for being stupid or for going through this thing or putting other people down for whatever they're going through. The comparison never works either way. Either comparing yourself, the, your good times to other people's bad times or your bad times to other people's good times. Neither situation works in my opinion. Right? All we need to do, as I always say, 
is to put your head down, keep on working, do your own thing, forget about everyone else. There's no need to compare yourself with anyone else on the planet. They're leading their lives, you're leading yours. So put your head down, do your work, and then forget about everyone else. Do your stuff. That's it. No need to compare. No need to degrade yourself over what you're going through. Remember, neither the peaks or the, or the summers nor the valleys or the winters last forever. It is just a temporary phase. and It will pass. This too shall pass. And then you'll go on to the next season in your life. And that too shall pass. And then you'll move on to the next season. So things are always changing. Nothing is static. Nothing remains the same forever. Again, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being on my po- podcast. Thank you for being on my channel. Whatever, wherever you're listening to me from, I'm so grateful that you are here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your energy. And I shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.